hello developers if you want to set up your react native app for three platforms with a single code you want to run on three platforms web android and ios so how you can do it you can set up your react native app and run it on web okay and uh, you you know that you can run uh, your react native on android and ios but now we will see that how we can run a react native app on web as well okay with the single code uh, code will be the same but you can run it on web as well okay so let's see you have you need to do few things for this uh, first like uh, these uh, i written down here like uh, first you need to uh, install some dependency for uh, uh, react native app to run on web okay and uh, uh, then you need to include some new files in the app and the project and um, then you will need to uh, include a build and web script in the package.json to run on web okay like uh, npm run web npm run android like this so you need to include the script for web and then uh, you need to test it uh, either it is running on android and web uh, on the, in the same time okay so this is uh, the dependency this is the um, few steps and you can refer these links as well i will provide these links uh, in the description like i will like i take some help uh, with uh, these links so i will provide these as well so let uh, let's set up our uh, react native app for web so first you need to install dependency what are these dependency uh, let's see see guys i have a react native app this is my app react native app you can see the android and ios folder here and it is perfectly working for android and web because i haven't tested for I, ios uh, because you can run it on ios easily in the xcode but uh, we will see that it is working on android and web as well so see this is the emulator here it is working fine so it is working fine this is my app and it is really working fine and if you see my app is running on web as well here it is okay wait see this is uh, the file okay so this is my app so it is working on web as well and you can see it is uh, changing the route as well if you uh, if you uh, if you run your uh, and react native app on web it will not switch the routes and sometime you need to switch the routes to open the uh, page directly in the browser right like if you uh, but uh, how uh, you will set this i will uh, tell you later but for now i am uh, telling that you can run your react native app on web as well and here is the pro so let's see how you will set uh, do things like i am telling you some steps to do and you when you do do these steps you will uh, run uh, you can you will be able to run your app on the web okay so let's see so everyone uh, the first step will be you need to install your native package react native npx react native and your project name okay jisse ki you will get the boilerplate of react native app okay this is the react native you will get all these files when you run this command react native uh, npx react native in it and then you need to check that whether it is working for android or not if you are uh, if it is working fine for uh, android then you will follow these steps okay uh, else you need to resolve your errors you are getting while uh, setup uh, you are setting your app for android okay 
i am uh, working on react native cli project uh, i am not working on uh, for expo so um, this is this tutorial is for expo okay uh, sorry this tutorial is for uh, react native cli okay then uh, the second step will be react the second step will be uh, you need to install these packages i'm uh, giving the all the packages here you need to run uh, these command commands and you need to install these like the first package will be react dom you need to install react dom and react native web okay to uh, run a react native project on the web and because I, uh, uh, you can get the peer dependency error so uh, just add this um, after your every command after every command like after every command okay so i will give this and uh, these in the description i will give these commands in the description so that you can uh, copy and uh, paste it here in the visual studio code terminal here and you can run your command okay and you can install these packages so uh, then you need to make changes in the package.json file in the just preset react native web okay uh, for example i because i'm running this app in the web and uh, react native so i have set this file just where is the jest find this jest okay and just uh, add these these uh, module extension file file uh, ts tsx javascript jsx um, json and node and in the jest add this preset react native web okay you need to add this then then after that then after that you need to include four files in your react native project okay four files what four files one fi first file is uh, index html okay you need to include this index html uh, in your project this is the index html code you need to include this the second file will be uh, index web dot js you need to include this file and the third file will be webpack config.js okay you need to include this file for to run your react native app for web four files and and uh, one more file uh, this is app.web.tsx okay four file so you need to include four files and how you will include this you i will provide this link go to the link okay go to the link or you can copy paste okay the file first file is app.web.tsx uh, just create app.web.tsx like i created app.web.tsx app will be uh, the capital letter okay a a will be capital so just create this file in the root folder root folder means in the parent folder just make sure you are not including including it in uh, some other folder just include it here in the uh, in the root folder okay in the um, root folder okay then you uh, replace all the code all the code just copy this code here from here and here and copy this uh, code and just replace all your like you will create this file and this file will be empty for you okay just um, replace just add this code uh, like co paste uh, th that code in your app.web.tsx then you need to create index.html like i created index.html here like i created here this file so uh, you need to include this file as well so just create this file same in the root folder and uh, just paste your code copy this code and just paste it here you need to include one thing that is uh, 
lang attribute in that html if you don't include then it file will be like uh, blue in color because you because html tag uh, needs lang attribute okay so after this you need to include one more thing and that is script bundle.web.tsx file okay just uh, type this line here after uh, here above the body body line okay make sure this id this div should be there okay in in the index.html maybe your id name will be different okay but you need to you need a div here in the uh, index.html because you know that react app uh, will work on this div in the browser right so you need to make sure that this uh, div should be there and then uh, the third file will be index.web.jsx just copy this code the whole code and you need to create one more file for uh, this like index.web.jsx and uh, then this uh, pa uh, the paste the whole code here okay and see i have uh, i have given the name react native web app here in the root tag uh, because i i my id is react native web app here so whatever you you have here just copy this and paste it here this should be same okay then you need to uh, you need to copy this whole code from here and you need to paste it you need to create one more file webpack.config.js and paste it here the whole code you will paste it here uh, see if uh, you are working if you are creating app.web.tsx because i am working on typescript project so i i uh, I, I took tsx extension if you are working on javascript project then you need to work you need uh, okay so i was telling that uh, if you are using javascript file javascript project so you need to create uh, you need to create with the js extension right because i am working on typescript project i am using typescript instead of javascript so i am uh, creating my files with txl tsx extension okay you need to create your files with js extension right so uh, app dot web dot js and um, here in the webpack file you need to replace this file with js uh, app dot web dot js okay got it so maybe it is clear to you then you need to uh, make few changes like uh, first change will be uh, make sure that here you are using react not react.native.web and uh, yes and uh, here in uh, resolve in uh, in in web.app.web.config.js um, module exports resolve folder you need you need to check resolve folder okay you need you need to check that here your extension should be there like i'm using dot web dot tsx so my extension i included it here if you are using uh, web dot web dot js then uh, check that your extension should be here and uh, this uh, should be here okay then that's it and uh, yes you need to include uh, you need to include just like in HTML webpack plugin, uh, template.path uh, index.html and uh, new webpack port module replacement plugin. If you are not, if it is not here, just include it like this. Okay. I mean, uh, you need to check this that you this should be here. Okay. So that's it. And a uh, uh, few things. And one more thing that let me go to this 
ओके तो यू नीड टू इंक्लूड दिस टू स्क्रिप्ट इन द इन द फोल्डर लाइक दिस लाइक गो टू द पैकेज डॉट जेसन फाइल एंड यू नीड टू जस्ट एड कोमा हियर कोमा हियर एंड यू नीड टू इंक्लूड दिस 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 एंड बिल्ड फाइल बिल्ड स्क्रिप्ट ओके जस्ट इंक्लूड दिस इन योर प्रोजेक्ट इन इन स्क्रिप्ट इन स्क्रिप्ट यू नीड टू इंक्लूड दिस ओके so that's it and then you need to run this command npm run web just save make sure that uh, you save all the files before running okay if you don't have if you have any file uh, which is not saved yet then just save it and then you need to run it with the command npm run web like npm run web okay just enter hit enter and it file it uh, file will uh, run started compiling for web like here i am i have run this command and i'm working on it so like this see here i run this command npm run web and then it compiled for me and then it gives us and uh, this url and you need to copy this url uh, from here and go to the browser and just paste your uh, paste your url here okay then you will see that uh, you you are getting a page okay i am getting different page because i have included more code in the uh, app.web.tsx file because i have created routes as well so i am um, i am seeing here that you are you can see that i have i am getting routes as well maybe you are not probably getting these uh, urls changing for uh, your web uh, now because you don't have you haven't created routes for your web uh, till now okay so i will tell how you will create routes uh, later in the pre uh, later videos so just make sure that your app is working for android and web both on the same time like uh, on the android emulator and uh, on the browser okay so uh, that's it uh, thanks for watching this video i hope you like it if you like this video just uh, give a thumbs up and i will create more such videos i later in my video i will uh, tell how to create routes uh, for web uh, okay so thanks for watching this